hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title it's another baby name video so let's just jump right into it i'm so excited i have so many good names so the first name i have for you is santi and santi is stunning i love it it's so unique it gives me like disney princess vibes it's like ugh. I can see the next Disney princess as Santi. I love it. It's so cute. And the next name that I have for you is Kershaw. And I can see like Santi and Kershaw as like the next Disney prince and princess. Like these two names are so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Wow. The next name I have for you, stick with me. It's called Pond. And Pond is from Jane the Virgin, Brooke Shields, she was called River Shields on the show, and her daughter was called Pond, and I just love that. I thought that was really cute. It also works really well as a middle name. The next name I have is Diera, and Diera is so cute. It's like the familiar but still unique vibe. It's obviously giving me Sierra vibes, which I love, which is very common. So I think Diera could be a really cute alternative to Sierra, and I just love it. It's a great D name. The next name I have is Sia. And Sia, we all know who the singer Sia is, but I feel like Sia is so like overlooked most of the time. And I feel like it's because when we see or hear famous people with that name, it's kind of like we hear it so often that it becomes familiar or or more common, but it's actually a still a super rare name in my opinion. Like I don't know anyone named Sia in real life and I think Sia is beautiful. It is stunning and it works really good as a middle name as well. The next name I have is Rake, and Rake is so cute. It gives me like hunter vibes, it gives me forest vibes. I just love it. I love it for a baby boy. It would also work really well as a middle name, but I still love it for a first name, Rake. There is definitely no like real, a real nickname for it, but love Rake. I think it's so cute. The next name I have is Baby, and Baby came also from Jane the Virgin, okay they named the, the girl the daughter baby and i thought baby was a really cute name now guys is it actually a name like can we call a baby baby is that a thing are there any other people out there who have named their child's baby i feel like it's very cute and it's clearly very unique in my opinion but is it too much i don't know i like it though i think it's cute no one puts baby in a corner baby is a cute name I love it. The next name I have is Michalina or Michaelina. And this is also from Jane the Virgin. It's Michael turned to a girl's name. And I just love it. I think it's so freaking cute. It gives me like old Italian vibes. Stunning. I just mm, love it. The next name I have is Catalina. And Catalina is stunning. Very Spanish vibes. I love every name that ends with A. But Catalina, it feels very spicy. It feels very saucy as a name. I just mm, love this name. The next name I have is Angelique. And this was also from Jane the Virgin. It was one of the characters on there. And Angelique. We've heard Angela. We've heard Angelina. But Angelique. That is pretty. That is really pretty. And I just love with the Q-U-E on the end. So freaking cute. I love the way it's spelled. The next name I have is Amarly. Amarly. I love this. The more I say it, the more I love it. Amarly. It's one of those names where you're just like, ooh, ooh, Amarly. Okay, I like that. That is really cute. I love this. I think it's so freaking cute. Amarly. I just, I don't have any other good things to say about it besides I love it. That's it. The next name I have is Cersei, and Cersei is one of those unique names that I feel like I've heard in the past maybe once or twice, but it's so unique and it's spelled so cute with C-E-R-S-E-I, Cersei. I love it. I think it's so freaking pretty. The next name I have is Kingsley. Kingsley. I love 
this. It feels last name turned first name a little bit, but I love that you can use King as a nickname and it's just so cute. I feel like I did Huxley in my last or one of my last videos and I love Lee at the end, L-E-Y for a boy and Kingsley is just so cute. I love it. The next name I have is Huntley. Huntley, I love this. It gives me Hunter vibes. It gives me Kingsley vibes all together in one Huntley. I think that is super cute. And now tell me if you know anyone named Huntley because I think that is very unique. The next name I have is Moore. And Moore, it's definitely a last name turned first name, M-O-O-R-E. But I feel like Moore, it works so well. Um, it's a Hebrew name as well. This is why for me it, it works really well in my head. But um, for the people who aren't in Israel, Moore is definitely a very cute name. And I love it with the double O-R-E spelling. It's just mm, so cute. The next name I have is Idris. Idris. I love this name. I think it is so cute. Ugh. You can use ID as like a um, nickname, ID. I love that. People are probably like, ID, Heidi, ID. Idris, I love this. Idris, ID is an, as a very cute name, nickname. I love it. You can use Riss as a nickname. Very cute. Idris, so freaking pretty. Um, the next name I have is Astrid. And Astrid is so pretty. It gives me star vibes. It gives me Luna vibes, Nova vibes. Nova is so freaking popular. Luna is so freaking popular. I feel like we needed something that was similar vibe, but not as popular. And I think Astrid just hits the nail on the head. Love this. The next name I have is Kaimani. Kaimani. Okay. I know you guys are probably like, okay, where is she going with this? Kaimani is so freaking cute. I love for a boy or a girl. I have no preference of gender for Ka Kaimani, but Kaimani is just one of those names that just give me rich vibes. I feel it's a very rich name. I just, I think it's so pretty. The next name I have is Kalea. Kalea. Oh, I love this name. It's so beautiful. Kalea. Kalea. You can obviously use Leia as a nickname, but like I wouldn't even want to abbreviate it because I just, I love Kalea as a whole name but just so freaking cute. You can obviously use Kale, uh, Kale as like a nickname as well, which I love, but Kalea is just wow. The next name I have is Sawyer, and Sawyer is so cute. I think we've heard this name before. It's very up and coming. I felt like it was still unique enough to put on my list, but still familiar enough that when we hear Sawyer, we don't just like run for the hills. I just love it it's very very pretty it works well for a boy or a girl and it's a great middle name either way the next name I have is Saxon and Saxon is so freaking cute again it's that last name turned first name and ah uh, I just love it's so cute you can obviously use Sax as a middle name and there is a lot of Dax or Daxon as um, a name as well so it's still familiar but still unique so cute the next name I have is Nyla. Nyla. Now, Nyla is a name that my boyfriend and I actually agreed on. He actually liked it. I don't necessarily think that we'll be able to use it just because I know by the time it comes back around that I ask him if he likes it when we actually are pregnant, he'll probably say no. But Nyla is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it gives me Nala vibes. It gives me um, Naya vibes, but Nyla, it's like the combination of the two names that are just so stunning. I love it. The next name I have is Tage. Tage. And it's obviously like a play on Sage, and Sage is very popular right now, but Tage is just unique. We haven't heard this before. I really love it. I think it's so freaking cute. It's just, it's it's one of those really good names. The next name I have is Jael. Jael is so cute. It's so pretty. And I love the simplicity of it, Jael. It's just like two sounds, pop them together, a beautiful name, 
stunning and who doesn't love a good J name like we're over Jessica but Jael is just wow the next name I have is Velda Velda I love that I think that is so cute everyone is really into V names right now we've seen Vita we've seen Vera but Velda it gives me Zelda vibes okay which I love as well but Velda it's just it's on another level and Vel is like a very cute nickname I just love that the next name I have is the next name I have is Kuroa Kuroa <laughs> my mom's probably watching this like are you insane Sam Kuroa and Kuroa is a name that I think that I made up Kuroa but with a Q okay you guys are probably like I'm losing you Kuroa um, I love that I think that's very unique I mean it is unique I think I've made that up but Kuroa guys is that too much is that a cute name would you name your baby Kuroa I feel like it might be too much just tell me in the comments what you think the next name I have is woods woods okay I feel like we've heard woody before and we've heard wood but woods I love that I think that's very cute I think hunter woods or woods hunter or woods no forest woods is that too much are you guys thinking I'm crazy now forest woods that's a little bit much okay but I love it it's so freaking cute the next name I have is sterling and sterling is stunning I love it it gives me money vibes which is so good but it's just one of those classic but still unique names which I love I just love sterling the next time I have is Waverly and Waverly is definitely unique as the name I don't think I've ever heard anyone use that name but I love it Waverly is very cute and I don't think you can get cuter than that now you can also use Maverly Maverly so Maverly is kind of like a play on Maeve like M A E V E Maeve Maverly Maverly is also very cute um, and there's a ton of spellings like when you have Lee in it Maverly you can always change the spelling so however you like the next name I have is one of my faves and I would love to use this for a boy so keep in mind before you guys shoot it down but Nash Nash this is so freaking cute tell me Nash is not cute I think Nash is probably my top boys name like and if it's not my boys first name it's gonna be a middle name like Nash is so stunning I love it it's simple it's unique it's cute it's common it's everything that I want it's easy to spell it's easy to say all the things love the next name I have is Cambria Cambria which is so pretty I love this name it's very classic to me it gives me very old-school vibes but classic stunning love the next name I have is Anson and Anson doesn't give me doesn't give me the best vibes and the only reason is because there was a villain on a show that I watched in the past called Anson and he was just bad vibes in the show but Anson itself as a name if I can detach it from the connotation is very cute very uncommon in my opinion and I love the the uniqueness of it and I love that it starts with an A and it's more of a boy's name which we don't see very often very cute so the next name I have is Aizen. Aizen. I love this. I think that this is so freaking cute. Very unique. I've never met an Aizen before, but I loved it. Aizen. It's like Ivan, Aizen. It's different. It is unique. It's so cute. And I love the way it's spelled. I-Z-E-N. Aizen. Cute. The next time I have is Cruise and Cruise I feel like we've heard before we've seen before and it may be a little bit too popular right now but I love this spelling C-R-U-Z I think that that is so cute I think that's the most unique way to spell Cruise in my opinion and it is kind of a last name turned first name because Tom Cruise duh 
The next name I have is Neva. Neva is so cute. I love Neva. I think it's like one of those, it's like Eva, but we've changed it a little bit and we've made it much less common, which I love. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys don't know how much it means to me when you guys watch until the end. It's like everything. So if you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. It means so much to me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.